Hello, Dowsar here uh, with uh, another Nook Color video. Um, yes, I'm still playing around with the thing. Uh, I don't, I don't spend too much time tinkering with it now. I uh, mostly actually use it for reading uh, some uh, some internet browsing. Um, but I wanted to touch on uh, what's going on with Cyanogen Mod 7 as far as recent updates and uh, it's, it, it's been quite a while since the last stable release um, and I think the reason for that, I'm, I'm not one of the dev developers I don't have any inside information uh, but I've been watching what's going on and uh, I think initially there were some bugs in the uh, the new version that they're trying to get a stable release out uh, the new version is uh, CyanogenMod Mod 7.1 um, Initially, I think it was bugs, and then um, then it was new features. Uh, so some of the developers for the Nook Color started figuring things out, like uh, well, the big one is USB hosting. Uh, someone someone got USB hosting to work. Uh, Very Green, uh, who uh, you, you might be familiar with, he also uh, set up the most popular uh, SD card install of Cyanogen Mod Seven. Um, but he got USB hosting working as well, and uh, they're still working on it. And and you know that's that's going to involve uh, obviously you've got USB hosting. People want microphones to work, and there was no uh, underlying infrastructure for microphones to work. Um, people want uh, um, storage like flash drives and external hard drives to uh, auto mount and. Uh, um, you know, there was no underlying infrastructure for that to happen. Uh, so they're, you know, they're working on all of these things. Um, the, at this point, there's a ton of stuff working with the USB hosting. I know they've got uh, microphones working. Uh, the sound quality is kind of poor, uh, but Very Green has said that he, he thinks he's pretty close to straightening that out as well. Um, uh, tons of USB keyboards are working, all kinds of storage. Uh, NTFS storage is not working. Uh, if, you, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, uh, <laughs> heck. I don't have a lot of de uh, detailed knowledge of what that is, but um, basically NTFS versus uh, FAT uh, storage. It's a different uh, file system. Uh, so right now, only uh, FAT16, FAT32 uh, storage is working. Um, but still, that's a lot more than was working before. Um, so. Uh, you know, with all this going on, uh, the, they haven't been able to get out a stable version in quite a while, but they have been releasing uh, the nightlies, the nightly test uh, versions, which right now uh, they're working on number 135. Uh, there is also a release candidate of uh, 7.1. Um, I, th <laughs> I think when they released it, which is, is going on three weeks now, uh, they thought they were a little closer to a stable version than it turns out they were. Um, but uh, the release candidate still works great. That's what I'm running right now. Um, I've heard the uh, very most recent nightly. I've read that the uh, very most recent nightly, uh, 132, or it might also include like 133, uh, has some issues, uh, particularly with uh, the video drivers uh, for movie playback, that sort of thing. Um, so I don't know if I could recommend that. Um, but the next nightly coming up, 135, should fix a lot of those issues. Uh, anyway, you know, if you're if you're thinking about installing right now, uh, I you know I've had no problems with that release candidate one, which came out uh, again like two or three weeks ago. Um, so that's probably a good way to go. Uh, I and you know at this point you're better off doing that than going with the last stable version, uh, you know 7.0.3. Um, deep sleep wasn't working, which is a big hit on your battery life when you're not using the Nook Color. It's still losing energy on the last stable version. They fixed that, so, you know, running the release candidate, I can leave this thing sitting around for a week and pick it up again, and it's fine. Um, and, I, you know, really, I think that is about all I wanted to say, just, just to say, um, you know, no, there hasn't been a new stable release, but... Um, you know, for the most part, you're just fine using, you know, using any of the nightlies, really, except for that uh, most recent one. Uh, and certainly you're fine using the release candidate. Um, 
So that's about it. I'll try to throw some links to um, uh, you know the 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 latest nightlies and uh, uh, some of the the threads where you can learn more about this stuff over on xdadevelopers.com uh, down in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.